Can you solve this math challenge given by one of our followers? And here's the question. Find the number of rational terms in the binomial expansion of 6 root of 2 plus 8 root of 5 raised to 100. By the way, rational terms are the terms that does not contain any radical sign. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Before we start, the answer to this question is simply equal to 4. So we only have 4 rational terms in the binomial expansion of 6 root of 2 plus 8 root of 5 raised to 100. Now the question is, how do we get 4? So here's the solution. The first method I provide is the usual way, and I also provide the shortcut method. So let's do first the usual way. First, let's consider this expression, 6 root of 2 plus 8 root of 5 raised to 100. Now take note that 2 and 5 are prime numbers. So we will use that concept later on. Alright, first, what we're going to do here is to use the binomial expansion, of course. Now what? is the binomial expansion. So the binomial expansion is equivalent to if you have a plus b raised to the power of n, it is equivalent to the sum of n choose k multiplied by a raised to n minus k times b raised to k from k equals to 0 up to n. So if we apply the binomial expansion to our given expression, this looks something like this. So 6 root of 2 plus 8 root of 5 raised to 100 is equivalent to the sum of 100 choose k multiplied by the 6 root of 2 raised to 100 minus k times 8 root of 5 raised to k from k equals to 0 to 100. And now, if we expand the right-hand side, it looks something like this. So 100 choose 0 times 6 root of 2 raised to 100 plus 100 choose 1 times 6 root of 2 raised to 99 times 8 root of 5 raised to 1 plus 100 choose 2 times 6 root of 2 raised to 98 times 8 root of 5 raised to 2 plus all the way up to 100 choose 100 times 8 root of 5 raised to 100. Now, let's focus on one of its terms. Now, the question is, on what way this 6 root of 2 is gone? And 8 root of 5 is gone. Now, the only way that the 8 root of 5 is gone or the 8 root is gone is if this exponent is a multiple of 8 and the exponent of 6 root of 2 is also a multiple of 6. So, to solve this question, we need to focus on the exponent of 6 root of 2 and 8 root of 5. Now, the exponent of 8 out of 5, this k must be a multiple of 8. This is one observation. And the other observation is the exponent of 6 out of 2 must be a multiple of 6. Or we can say that 100 minus k is also a multiple of 6. Now, using this information, we can make a table on k and 100 minus k. Now, we know k is a multiple of 8 and 100 minus k is must be a multiple of 6. Now, for example, if k is equal to 8, then 100 minus k is 92. And 92 is not a multiple of 6, but it's okay. Now, how about k equals 16? So, 100 minus k must be 84. Now, let's list them. If k equals 24, then 100 minus k is 76. And now, here's the complete list for the values of k. So, if k is 32, 100 minus k is 68, until we get if k equals 96, then 100 minus k must be equal to 4. Now, the value of k now is all multiple of 8. That is what we want. Now, 100 minus k, we want 100 minus k must be a multiple of 6. Now, 4 is not a multiple of 6, but 12 is a multiple of 6, so we found 1. So one case is if k is 88, then 100 minus k is 12. So 88 is a multiple of 8, that is good. And 12 is a multiple of 6, that is also good. 20 is not a multiple of 6, 
28 is not a multiple of 6, but 36 is a multiple of 6. Alright? Now, 44 is not a multiple of 6. 52 is not a multiple of 6, but 60 is also a multiple of 6. So, we found 3. And 68 is not a multiple of 6. 76 is not a multiple of 6. 84 is a multiple of 6. Therefore, we found 4 values of k such that k is a multiple of 8 and also 100 minus k is a multiple of 6. Therefore, we can say that the number of rational terms in the binomial expansion of 6 root of 2 plus 8 root of 5 raised to 100 must be equal to just 4 terms. And that is the answer. Alright, the question is, is there a shortcut for this kind of question? And of course, there's a shortcut. Now, take note that 2 and 5 are prime numbers. This is very useful information for us to use the shortcut. Now, since 2 and 5 are prime numbers, we will use the shortcut. First, we need to get the LCM or the least common multiple of 6 and 8. And the least common multiple of 6 and 8 must be equal to 24. Next, we get the 100 divided by 24 and get the floor value. So we get the floor value of 100 over 24. And 100 over 24 is just 4 point something. So the floor value is simply equal to 4. So the answer is just 4 terms and as always we are done